uh, today is 22nd may 2024 let's look at how the market fared today a slight disclaimer we are looking only from a data analysis and data science perspective we made a small profit of 1000 bucks with a capital of close to 8000 8, rupees so this is our profit for the day how did we make this if you see most of the profit came from the call booking this one so could not trade on monday because uh, mumbai had elections so the stock market was closed for that day for elections and yesterday i was busy uh, when i logged in at 3 pm i didn't have much time so i i do not try to trade if i just have 30 minutes in hand um, it's very difficult to gauge the picture of the market so what strategy we used today see when we started the day us was slightly positive eu closed negative yesterday asia was open mixed like some uh, markets were positive some were negative but mostly on the negative side so one thought came that okay this can be a day to buy puts instead of calls so key highlights uh, today we saw volatility was not there and india wix was stable even though it opened high than yesterday but it uh, was uh, going down after the first 30 minutes india wix was slowly going down so that indicated that the market would be on the up, upper side if you see the 15 minute candle for today it opened and it came down and then it kept going up 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 and up okay in between some red candles came but most of the time if you see here from here the psr is saying it will move up these dots no? this is a psr so it says it will move up so you can uh, go to studies and th these are four or five things i usually try to monitor the price volume volume psr moving average super trend so this helps in understanding different and data points and this is the five minute candle so five minute candle also see it if you see these five minute candle it came down then it came down drastically so people might think okay this is the uh, lower lows and lower highs kind of thing but no so th that's where i uh, bought put here and then i exited because uh, what i did is i that time went here and saw reliance reliance was very high um, and if you see reliance reliance had this trend of it opened up and it was averaging and moving upwards same with infosys infosys also five minutes candle opened with a big green candle and kept moving up and same with hindustan liver it opened with a big candle so if three major uh, stocks <coughs> which is crucial for nifty 50 if they are behaving this way you you just close your eyes and i just close my eyes and i just trade it on the upward direction this is the india wix candle so if you see the green candles are not big you see here you see the india wix candles if they are like this green that means a lot of volatility is there okay but uh here green candles were less and it kept coming down 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 so plus we get got a big super trend which told it will go down that means if india is low stability is there market will move in the upward direction slowly not very fast if, if these candles are big then only it will move fast otherwise it will move slow and like we all know when it is moving up it will not keep moving up in one way it is, it is a slow movement then it will consolidate then again move 
you create a pattern for liquidity then again pick up that's why these green candles towards the end it always happens that way it will fall the premium would fall for the call side uh, it falls usually like by 30 points okay and then it would um, move up so if you try to see the technicals so this is the day by day technical for nifty 50 and then this is the day technical for the bank nifty so banks didn't good uh, do good today it was negative and then it's useful to see the day technical for reliance and then for infi and the day technicals usually i keep these data points in an excel sheet because uh, that helps to understand what is a trend around these kpis okay and if you see the depth of uh, this one if you see the depth market depth for the strike price the difference of approximately 95 rupees between high and low and then for bank for nifty the depth if you see between low and high again uh 22483 and 22 and 22629 so that is 100 and 30 40 50 150 rupees difference okay for bank nifty it is usually high the difference is like you here you see 600 700 point difference but for nifty it is close to 150 point difference that is how it it works so, so it is important to understand where you fall if you understand uh, what is the difference between low and high usually so you can take a informed call so today we knew the premiums didn't go high because reliance did very good uh, usually if reliance does good everything is sorted out but the banks were not doing good that's why the premium didn't go high because of two reasons first is the bank was not doing good the second is the volatility was low uh, the liquidity positions were opportunities were less to inject the liquidity and uh, that's why very high premium spike didn't happen it was on the positive side but like a uh, hundred point move or 200 point move didn't happen here so we took a call decision like i explained since reliance in Hindustan, liver were all upwards direction so this is a lesson learned always remember if these three stocks are having a uh, higher highs and higher lows it's always better to move in that direction uh, for nifty 50. so that was our analysis for the day see by the concept of mean reversion also the day we kept moving around moving average it it hit moving average and kept moving upward and etc so we are still doing uh, we are moving around the moving average we want to also look for opportunities like this where we are debiting away from the moving average and slowly we hit so that that is also a good opportunity to get in okay today we didn't have any opportunity to apply mean reversion concept okay so see you tomorrow so this was the analysis for the day or 22nd may